the man that we see in the screen now the unbeaten fighter fighting the Thai Tim this is uh, this is Don's sixth fight he scored three TKOs along the way well things change when you get into the ring against the Thai rebel that's right um, you, you left your apprenticeship and you become a tradesman when you start fighting the Thais because uh, like you saw they know their stuff Tim looking very confident there oh Don coming straight at him Well, the Thais always come out so relaxed. But um, that was a good hard kick from Tim, but Don took it on the gloves and came back. And Don's got a good hand. Yeah, Tim very skillful, just keeping Don just, just uh, away enough for those punches to miss. But boy, I don't think Tim likes being punched, and I know that Don loves throwing punches. So this could be an interesting fight. Oh, what a good right hand! Well, the things with the ties, when you think they should be hurt, they never show any sign of it. No, that's the, um, the true marksman quality. They can be as, as, as hurt as buggery, but they won't show it. That's their um, main strength. Well, this is one of the best starts I've seen Don Miller have for quite some time. He's, he's come out really firing. He's taken no time to warm up. I don't think getting into a knee wrestle with, um, with Tim is the right thing for him to do. But I'm... I'm uh, very impressed by the way his hands have been working tonight. Yeah, he's throwing some good punches. And just looking at his eyes, he really wants to fight. He's, he's in a serious business for Don, very serious business. On the other hand, Tim might be taking this a little bit too um, lightly, a bit too relaxed. He might have to wake his ideas up. Well, there's a, there's a bit of feeling out there, all right, especially on the um, Don side. Tim keeps his hands low at times. Um, maybe not the right thing to do when he's in the ring with Don Miller. Tim fighting out of the Philip Lamb. City Lee guard, Jim. Sefu Lam in the corner. <laughs> Giving some instruction from the sideline. And telling him to keep those hands up. And if there's ever a man that you should listen to, it's Sefu Philip Lam. That's right, the grandfather of Kiwi Thai boxing. Round number two. say Tim would favour the uh, grappling in the knees, but um, Don, Don's no slouch at that either. Good hand by Don Miller. Oh, left uppercut. This is going to be a boxer versus a knee fighter. Well, of course, Don being trained by Pat Ivy, the ex-Northern Thailand champ. And I think he'll be pretty happy with the way he's going so far. Good. Good kick by Tim. Oh, good punches by Don. Well, we are talking about how the Thais can hide their emotions, but I can see through Tim. He looked a little bit disturbed at the moment. And, and be quite frank, why wouldn't he? because he's taking some good punches by Don Miller. And again, he's taking some more. 
Well, he kicked the Tim attack Don's legs about three or four times, then went for the headshot. Luckily, Don had his hand up high enough. Now, Tom Fisatua's got a great head of hair there. But now we see the fighters again. And I think Don Miller wants to get away from those knees. Most definitely. Well, if Don grapples with Tim, he's working right into his hands. He's got to keep those feet going. Keep those hands going. End of round number two. Well, I think Don Miller's saying he couldn't get away from him. He was trying to get away, but he couldn't. He did some good work with his hands early in the round. He did as a strong start of the round to Don Miller, but um, a strong finish from Tim with those knees. So you've got to think how the judge is going to be looking at this. Are they going to favour the punches? Are they going to favour the knees? Uh, my guess would be they'll be favouring the knees because that's the last thing they remember about the round. Tim strong, very he, he finished very strongly. Tim did. Well, Don Miller actually turned a fight around here one night. He fought Jim Meller, and it was pretty even until and I think well, Jim was in front, but Don managed to um, to get hold of him and use the knees effectively and come out with a draw in that one. His other fights, he's, he's, um, he's had all wins, so he's unbeaten after five fights. He's got a big job on his hands here tonight. He's coping with it so far, but he must keep away from those knees. That's right. He's got to keep throwing those punches like he's been doing, and don't be afraid to kick. Now, another thing we've got to remember, Rebels, this is a five-round fight. That's right. These guys, um, they like going the distance. These, what, these are the difference between the apprentices and the tradesmen. Oh, nice kick there by Don. Well, they're pretty sneaky. Now, Don's right hand is just starting to come down a wee bit. He must keep it up. That's right, Tony, because uh, Tim, Tim has the ability to kick right up there with powerful kicks. to the knee grappling. Tom Fisatua steps in between them. <laughs> well, Don Miller kicked out his, spat out his mouth guard. Tom Fisatua didn't see him spit it out. And allowed him to put it back in. Once again, Tim's got him where he wants him. In the round three. Two more rounds, folks. Well, this is turning into a bit of a marathon effort for um, Todd Cadwell, but I think Tim is starting to... Um, get the fight to go his way. Well, he is. Um, he's slowly turning the fight around. Um, Don's been less on the attack and more on defence um, from those grappling knees. As we see, um, Tim very good at the knees. Always interesting to look at the Thai corners, how vigorously they work on their fighters. Working hard, getting the blood circulating. 
Always plenty of advice over in their corner too, Rebel. Oh yeah, plenty of advice, and all good too. Round number four. seen Tim fight before but I, I think he's been training pretty hard for this one because um, in previous fights he hasn't looked this sharp but now Don Miller's going to take some of the edge off him he says and starts his own attack yeah but Don Miller wants to keep consistent he wants to keep the pressure on um, for the whole two minutes of the round otherwise Tim comes back and steals the last part of the round but I tell you he's getting caught up some punches now Tim is well, he seems to be copping them all right, but if Don can keep that pressure up. Tim still looks reasonably uh, breathing good. Tries to go to the punches himself. Now, Don's got a little height advantage. Not, not able to use that at the moment. Seems to be, Tim seems to be able to get inside and wrap him up. Just a slip there. The end of round four. Well, what would you be saying to Todd Keedwell in his corner? Well, I'm going to tell Todd that this is the last round and he, uh, he's unbeaten and he wants to keep it that way. He's really got to um, pull the rabbit out of the bag. And he's really got to... Um, well, he's got to go full blow for the whole two minutes of the round. He's really got to lay some punches onto Tim. But, um, you know, I think Don can do it. He's done it before. He's got excellent hands. He's an excellent all-around fighter. But really, it's this last two minutes. It's going to, um, you know, he's only got two minutes to win the fight. I think he's behind. It's pretty clear he's behind. So he's really got to uh, put, uh, put a lot of pressure on. Of course, this is uh, fourth and fifth rounds, new territory to Don, too. He's never been there before, whereas Tim's been there on numerous occasions. So Don's just got to keep going through that pain barrier. And when he does, the, uh, does things with his hands, he's doing good things. He, as you say, he, has, he is capable. That's what he, that's what he wants to keep doing for the whole of this round. It's just a distance thing. That's right. He, all he's got to do is push that gap. He's got to find out the, the distance that he can strike in. Hopefully, he's got to work down this round. He wants to stay away from those knees, though. I'd, I'd um, look for Tim trying to um, ride time, use it up. That's what Tim wants to do, he just wants to hold on to um, Don until the bell goes, because he knows he's got this fight in the bag. Now Don wants to do some work, wants to rush in with some punches. That's the one. A lot of support for both fighters here. Oh, the 
experienced start in the count. Tim just knows how to wrap him up. Don's not giving up. He knows he's got half a minute or so. That was a good punch. That was right on the button. Stunned Tim for a second. But once again, he wraps him up. End of the fight, round five. Well, it was a pretty torrid fight, right from the word go. How did you see it? Well, it was a hard fight. Um, Tim was all smiles coming into the ring, but he's not smiling too much now. But I think um, he's going to get the nod. But a fine fight by Don Miller. Uh, a lot of courage, a lot of guts, a lot of skill. And he's going to be back to take another fight because he's a, he's a very popular fighter. Everybody likes to watch him. But um, a nice display of knees by Tim there. Yeah, excellent display of knees. As you say, Don Miller, he'll come back and that, that'll be like having 10 fights, that one, because the experience he gained out of that will just be invaluable in the future. Versus New Zealand. Tim from Thailand. Well, the reception he's getting from the crowd, he might think he's at home. A lot of ties in the audience here tonight, and they're over the moon.